All right, so um, I wanted to go ahead and make a video showing you all how to pose scenes inside of um, Pickfed Evolution. So um, what I went ahead and actually let me go to the beginning, beginner. Give me one second. And I'm just going to post something real simple. I won't be doing moves or anything because um, that take a lot more time. I just wanted to show you how to work the controls. So from Pickfed Evolution, um, this scene, um, I actually went to Steam Workshop and installed a couple of the figures from here so i grabbed the bryant and brian Danielson just now so that's the one i'm going to use so if i go into scenes Going to new scene, you'll just see this empty room when you first go in, and you can see some mark out stuff up there. Empty shelves right now. Eventually, I might fill those in. See a table, and uh, yeah, just some general stuff. And then you'll see the carpet. So, just to kind of walk you through what you have going on here, this is the scene creator or the poser, whatever you want to call it. And inside of here, you'll be able to piece everything together that you have. So you'll be able to add your figures in, um, add your setups that you've created using props, and then pose everything out, light it, take a picture, and um, really just make a good scene for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start off by just doing the setup. And we'll just do new setup because I think this is a really simple one. Okay, this will work. So we got a little WWF setup that um, I downloaded from the workshop. Um, and now this setup will be on every single frame because the setup you can't change frame to frame. That's the one thing you can't change frame to frame. Um, and we normally we get started by doing new frame, but since we don't have any frames, the first frame is already new. Hopefully that makes sense. So next thing I want to do is add a figure, and I want to add Brian Danielson. This is a kick-ass figure. I actually really love it. Um, the designs were done by Defract from the wrestling community, um, wrestling creation community, sorry. So I'm going to click on the body, and he's got a nice little ways to go from being in the ring because his default start axis of all figures um, is zero, 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 and the ring is not at zero, zero, zero. The ring is actually um, down a bit more. So I guess just to explain what I just did, I click on the waist because the waist is the... Um, root so the waist will allow you to rotate but also unlike any other body part you can actually hit one and you can move it around so this is how you will move your figure around now if you want to rotate you hit two and then two will allow you to rotate so um any other body part though you won't have the option for one or two you'll only be able to rotate because um i didn't want the figure to become dis disjointed so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the F Bryanson figure, and I already know what pose I'm doing. There's a pose of him on the top rope, and I wish I could see his legs, but I can't. But it's okay, because I, I think I understand what, what, what he's doing in the pose. So let's go ahead and slide. I'm going to slide him back a little bit, slide him forward, and slide him up. Nice. Then let's go ahead and click this. And this is just like moving a real action figure. So if you have a physical action figure at home and you move body parts around on it, the same body parts that you move in the same way, um, this is built like that. So you can't, um, you know, get lost. Hopefully, hopefully it's pretty straightforward. You grab a figure by the waist sometimes to rotate them and move them as well. So. That also should be a little bit consistent. And I might not get that leg all the way up there. See, uh, okay, there we go. So I limit the axes that you can rotate on to make it um, pretty easy to know how what, what you can do. So this one, for instance, you, you, you only have the joint right here. So I can't rotate that part around. But if I wanted to rotate his body around, I would use this one. And that one allows me to rotate the body around. So we're actually going to rotate them around this way. And um, 
his arms are up in the pose that I'm looking at. But one cool thing I want to show you is if you click on the hand, you can actually change the pose of the hand. So let's do spread. Uh, no, no, no. Click on him again. Let's do straighten. Yeah. I think straighten is better. Straighten. Yeah. And I might change this um, a little later. So this, you can't see the line. It's really thin, but it's right here. So if I went ahead and rotated that one, since we're at this angle, let's rotate that one. And let's move the arms. Let's angle them up. So let's do this one about right here. Do that one about right there. And then let's turn his head like that. And I think that's good. That's a nice, nice thing. And now I want to go ahead and bend his body over just a little bit. So it looks something like that. And that's beautiful. Now um, I'm actually moving the the um, camera around using my keyboards, using WASD and the arrow keys. If you ever want to know how to move anything around, I think you hold right here. You see hold space to view controls. If I hold space, this will show you everything you need. I don't know. Says switch to scale two, but I don't think I actually put scale two availability in here. Um, I think I just use the same setup for the prop movement. But yeah, so, um, okay, see, a toggle, um, H will toggle to H, the UI. Um, so, okay, so before I do anything, so we don't lose what we've done so far, you want to click here where it says update frame and click that. And then I'm also going to save this so that in case my computer crashes, um, I will have a saved version of everything I've done hit save nice now one thing one other thing that you'll need to do is I want the camera to be right here so in order for me to do that um, I need to actually click on save camera location and then update the frame again and save it again anytime you make changes to the frame you want to update the frame I'm not overwriting by default because I don't want people to mess up their work if they do something and don't like how I look but uh, yeah that'll allow you to do that um, let's actually rotate this foot down so there we go. All right, so that's my frame. So now with the lock camera location, what that does is let's say if I move this here, if I do um, jump to camera, you see it pl plots me right back here. So that's always going to be our starting location. So that's cool if you wanted to, you know, pose today and maybe take pictures tomorrow, or if you need to come back and make a change and you didn't know exactly how you had the camera placed, it always be placed in that same place. Something else that's pretty cool is I got this thing called control lighting. And what control lighting does is I actually recently added an under light. So it actually makes the characters um, lit a lot a lot better. Um, and here's a preview of me just changing that under light. Those undertones to be red. And I, I think that's fire. Uh, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so you can change that room light color. And then you can also darken. Let's say I wanted to darken them and make them really look like a dragon out here. Um, that's something you can do. You can change, alter the colors here. Say if you want to bring it up like this, maybe. Just messing around with the lighter. Just kind of show you all the possibility. Pitch black here. Um, all right, so let's make it white. And then let's make this one red. Kind of have like a red tint. There we go. So now that's a cool light again update the frame save it um so one thing that i really do think is cool that will um so these are, are traditional things like duplicating the frame deleting the frame those are things that uh, should be self-explanatory but something else that i want to show you is this depth of field so this is something that's kind of hit or miss <laughs> it's, it's an unreal feature feature that works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't but um it should allow you to kind of focus on the character for different for some cool shots sometimes um as i mentioned hit or miss so like here it looks beautiful it looks beautiful um actually it looks gorgeous yeah it looks gorgeous i'm taking that picture and then i can actually click on here let's rotate let's make Let's make them look kind of towards us a little more. Like that. Beautiful. Okay. So, 
essentially what I wanted to talk about though is getting rid of that. And let's talk about props because props are cool. So you can actually add in um, different weapons. So I think I only have weapons right now. Yeah. And this should probably actually not have add because there's nothing there. So it won't really do much. Um, and I'll fix that at some point. But inside of here, we have different props we can add. So let's say if we wanted to add a ladder. The ladder is here. We can easily switch the, oops, I deleted it. <laughs> but we can easily switch the colors of the ladder, the material, uh, which this is actually a pretty cool thing. We can even change the status of it. So if we want it open, if we want it half open, if we want it snap, um, let's do it like this. This one should have been deleted. All right. So then I'm just I'm just kind of showing you. I'm not doing much with it, but just to really show you how cool it is that you can place these different props in here. And let's go ahead and update that frame and save it. And if we hopefully this works. Sometimes when you're testing out software you build, you find bugs. But if I were to go into new frame and then go back. Everything is back. Ha ha ha. It worked. <laughs> um, but yeah, I shouldn't be so surprised. But everything is still here. So we got our ladder. We've got him posed. Um, but as you see, if we go to new frame, the lighting is back uh, white. There's no pose for him. There's no ladder, nothing like that. Um, so let's say we wanted to just kind of iterate on this one. What we could do is hit duplicate. And now we have two frames that are the same. So frame one and frame two are the same. So for this one, we could say. Let's say if we want to go ahead and just bring the arms down. Bring it down, bring it down. It's kind of hard to see the axis sometimes where we are actually moving the arm to. Maybe one day I'll add in a reset button next to it and that'd be pretty cool. Build that. It's funny because I kind of went the difficult way. Um, since the arms were kind of rotated a little differently. So we'll go here and we'll just do rest. We'll do rest. And let's bend them back some. Let's make them look over here. And yeah. So let's just say this is my simple first pose that I want. So we want to say, we want to go from here. I might, I might want to slow down the rotation on that camera a little bit. I sped it up, but I think I sped it up a little too much. And then let's change the light in here. Oh, there you go. So that's a bug. So I'll fix that because I should be able to pop my lighting up. But for some reason, it's not popping up. What about props? Prop shows up, but lighting does not. Okay. Figure that out. I'll get it on um, fixed. But if I'll go ahead and uh, set that, save it, and go here, and let's delete this frame here. All right. So now these are our two frames. So I can hit play sequence. Oh, and that's one thing I forgot was to actually set the camera. Let's set the camera to here. It's funny, I did all that work and Mark is not even saving it. All right, so now, boom, boom. So, bah, bah. So, you can imagine as you start adding more and more figures in here, um, you'll be able to make some cool combinations of moves and different things like that. And um, let me just hop out of here. Because I think I made a move at some point. But I need to check and see. I have a code. I think I posed an Adam Cole. Oh, okay, cool. So I posed an Adam Cole, which is actually dope. Um, he's doing his old signature pose here. Um, depth the field doesn't look good at this angle, but we can do some lighting. And now it's all about the boom. Adam Cole, baby. So yeah, that's that's something that I, I really just think is um cool. And um, hopefully this made sense. Hopefully this helps people. 
if you're trying to get into uh, pig fed evolution and you just want to know how to pose things um that'll help you out one more thing i just thought about that's freaking huge as well if i go in here and i go to these two buttons i didn't talk about these magic buttons here um well first you can actually swap out the figure so if i want to make it sammy guevara baby instead bow simple as that um and let's switch him to be seth rollins so now we got seth rollins baby um but you can do a pose so i can save his pose and create collection so let's call it this Fucking spell so i can save it here let's just check and make sure it worked the way i'm going to check it is i'm going to go to a different scene and try to assign that so let's go to the brian danielson scene let's go here let's duplicate the frame and then right here let's do low pose and there it is that is the pose there now something i'm actually interested in is when i did say pose i didn't do new collection i did taunts but it did the blank one for some reason let's see okay so that's something weird it's adding a new so i'll fix that it's adding a new collection there for some reason so i'll fix that i'll get that fixed um tonight because that is not supposed to happen um but yeah so that's pretty cool so you can actually just copy and save your poses and assign them to different people so that's going to be a huge game changer for people who are looking to easily swap out figures or swap out different things um when you especially when you're making moves if you make a power bomb you don't have to make the same power bomb 50 100 times you can just make it once and then modify it as you need to so yeah that's going to wrap up this video um i thank you for supporting me thank you for checking out pig fed evolution and have a good one peace